previous lecture we have seen the hardware part of rf absorber which is having three layers the first layer is srr second layer is dielectric third layer is ground plane and then the incident wave which is available to the absorber from the ambient environment is being received at two different frequencies one is at 1.6 gigas corresponding to gps another is 2.4 gigas corresponding to wi-fi the structure is connected to the rectifier circuit which is having either short key diode configuration or cmos configuration cmos is efficient as compared to short key diode configuration so quadrupler or voltage doubler are two circuits being used for voltage multiplication even if small amount of signal is received at these two different frequencies will be able to get us dc voltage reason being we are applying either voltage doubler or voltage quadrupler as a rectifier circuit so we will see in our slide that how we are able to get dc voltage from the antenna rectina or receive only antenna or rf absorber here we see in this diagram there is a receiving antenna or this receive only antenna can also be named as rf absorber now output of rf absorber if we take an example at 2.4 gigahertz frequency that is wi-fi frequency or at gps frequency which is 1.6 gigahertz frequency is being received by the received antenna is being connected to the impedance matching network so the impedance matching network is nothing but it matches the free space impedance it is a it constitute of l and c configuration so that we are able to get tuned to free space impedance after impedance matching network there is a multiplier or rectifier or combination of rectifier and multiplier circuit as shown in the diagram and then there is a filter dc pass filter or low pass filter which is connected to the uh, super capacitor or through load load can be any iot device it means from this particular diagram we are able to see that <coughs> the received power from the ambient environment is being used to provide us small voltage of dc the dc voltage with small ampere rating in terms of milli ampere can be used to drive or to power up the small electronic devices which are sensors which are iot devices so we do not require any external supply or any external battery to be incorporated into these small iot devices with the help of uh, <coughs> with the help of energy rf energy harvesting device these uh, uh, sensors or these iot devices can be converted into self sustainable sensors they can be used for healthcare applications they can be used for smart cities they can be used for smart agriculture so there are various uh, applications of the rf energy harvesting circuits and the beauty of this rf energy harvesting system, uh, uh, systems is solar uh, circuits are purely depending on the sun whereas rf energy harvesting uh, circuit 
will be uh, helping us to provide voltage even if there is no sun. So, round the clock, if we are having RF signals, we will be able to convert these RF signal, either the sun, sun is visible or not visible, still we are able to get power supply for our IoT devices. So, that is a big advantage. It can be used for hilly areas where uh, the power supply is not available, where it is very difficult to get the uh, devices to be charged. But with the help of this RF energy, because it is freely available as GPS signal, it is free, freely available as radar signal, it is freely available as Wi-Fi signal, it is freely available as GPS, a lot of uh, TV, FM. So, uh, we can design uh, our uh, RF energy devices for a particular frequency. Only little bit circuit configuration is required to be uh, integrated. Now, coming back to this particular slide, we see that there are many devices available for our daily use which operate at very low voltage that to be nanowatt, their power consumption is nanowatt such as uh, MCU. In sleep mode, they consume 100 nanowatts, quartz clock, they consume 10 nanowatt, watch and calculator, they consume 1 microwatt. RFID system, they consume 10 microwatt. Heating, uh, hearing aids, they consume 100 microwatt. GPS RF receiver, it can uh, consume 1 milliwatt. So, like that, there are Wi Fi, Bluetooth, GS. So, there are various devices which we use in our day to day life. Fitbit, it requires very low voltage. So, there is no external battery required. These devices can operate from the ambient energy harvested using radio waves. So, coming back to more detail, not only these applications, absorber has uh, many other tremendous applications like they can be used to reduce radar cross-sex and enemy by which the enemy will not be able to detect the fighter aircraft. We can use these absorbers for EM wave suppression, elimination of incident wave on surface. We can use these RF energy harvester for healthcare for imaging, for uh, food grain testing, for EMI, EMC reduction, for various sensor designing such as temperature sensor, gas sensor. We can use these absorbers to design filters, to de develop steel uh, devices, EM, EMI, EMC reduction. We generally use these RF absorber to develop an echo chamber which has eco-free environment where almost all RF devices are being used for testing because we need interference free environment and an echo chamber is one of the system or one of the space uh, where we can uh, uh, carry out calibration measurement of almost all RF devices. We can use RF absorber for undesired <coughs> frequency absorption. We can use them for optical switching, we can use them for eco reduction, we can use them to carry out remote sensing measurements such as OSIN for measuring sal water salinity, for measuring water temperature and uh, for measuring various other characteristics of the OSIN remotely. The RF absorbers can also be used in medical instrumentation in radiation absorbing material, in scanning, in detection and the beautiful application of RF absorber is in energy harvesting as well as for imaging. Generally, we use the material for designing RF absorbers are frequency dependent and starts from FR4 to ferrite, carbon, uh, carbon uh, nanotubes, titanium oxide, foam, uh, graphite, graphene, and then silicon, cobalt, sulfur and there are now various composite materials are available uh, where uh, which are frequency specific. Like uh, there are various companies which are uh, in uh, manufacturing of RF absorbers. So depending on those applications we can uh, select RF absorber uh, depending on the frequency usage and we can devise RF absorber to convert into receive only antennas and these receive only antennas can be used for energy harvesting. So, energy harvesting 
is a very important application of absorbers. With this, I want to conclude my lecture. But uh, before that, I want to show a uh, few slides. This particular slide so how can we carry out uh, measurement of RF absorber. So here we see there is a vector network analyzer connected to horn antennas and in an IQ chamber there is a meta surface absorber. So one is acting as a receiving antenna, another is acting as a transmission antenna. Depending on the absorption offered by the absorber, we will be able to see uh, uh, the response in terms of S11 and we can compute uh, the absorption coefficient. This is another absorber's absorption measurement setup where we see VN is there, there are two horn antennas and the horn antennas are being reflected towards the absorption towards the absorber and then we carry out uh, reflection measurement in DC mode. So uh, the RF absorbers are frequency specific but nowadays uh, very compact, very thin and based on uh, frequency selective surface we are able to design uh, the RF absorbers right from microwave uh, frequency to terahertz uh, frequencies. It means we can use these RF absorbers for 5G, 6G applications which is a very coming up field. Uh, so almost all IoT devices or sensors they require huge amount of uh, data to be transported. So 6G and 5G are terminal applications, reason being we require high speed devices. So de designing the devices at high speed, we require wideband. So in absorber, we want to design uh, frequency specific absorber, we want to design broadband absorber, we want to design efficient absorber, we want to design compact absorber. So these are various fields available to absorb a designer uh, for designing not only at microwave frequency, even at terahertz frequency. This is all uh, for today's lecture. Thank you.